I don't want to take too much stuff because I mean, man, I don't have the inventory space. But at the whoa, what the hell did you do up here? This is disgusting. <laughs> What is going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on my channel. Today we are on the Harmony Hollow server and I found something out guys. I've been betrayed. Guys, I'm mad, I'm furious. So it turns out that Scott and Jack left us all these little presents here and I found the presents before they had released their episode. Now what I found out is that the tinsel gallons are actually fine, which I'm happy about because I really, really love the tinsel. Like, look at this. It just tickles my hair as I go through. Bloop, bloop, bloop. What I did find out is that they stole this from someone on the server and they stole what else did they give me? This little rocket ship. The rocket ship, man. I don't know why they'd steal all that, but they did because they're terrible people. Okay, so Jack and Scott stole something from everyone on the server. Oh my God, what are you doing? Rave horse, relax. We should call this horse Raven because it's black like a raven, but also it was raving there. Don't know if you saw that. So, I'm actually pretty sad. I'm going to quickly have a look through the comments of the last episode because I think you guys told me who they belonged to. So, I'm going to go and try and return them to their rightful owners because I'm not a thief, guys. Okay, so I just had to watch Scott's video because it turns out that all the comments on my last video were actually just people saying, Oh my god, My Chemical Romance? Guys, this just in. I like music, okay? And I like music that pretty much everyone else liked. I was a 15 to 16 year old emo child, alright? Leave me alone. I loved MCR, and I had so many people commenting like, oh my god, you like MCR? And Ollie likes 21 Pilots and Panic at the Disco? That's crazy. Oh, what the hell? Apparently I slept in Jack's bed last. Right. Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay, well that's good news. Yeah, guys, turns out, you know what? I love all that music too. 21 Pilots, Panic at the Disco. I liked loads of bands back in the day. Paramore was sick. Basically, anyone who was on Fueled by Ramen or Raymond? I don't even know how you say that name. Fueled by Ramen. Anyone who was on that record label, I just absolutely loved. There's so many old bands. You know what? While I'm here, since Jack stole something from each person on the server, I think it only seems appropriate that I steal an entire room from Jack. And we're going to steal an entire room from Scott as well. Well, it turns out that the anchor is from Ash. I didn't see who the toy thing came from, the toy rocket. So if you guys know who the rocket came from, let me know because I will give them it back. That's a cross above the bed. We don't want that. Right, there we go. We got a nice room full of stuff now. Now, guys, I saw that he told you all not to come and tell us that he did it. And a lot of you, even when people commented saying Jack did this and Jack and Scott stole, everyone was saying to them, shush, don't tell them. Let me tell you something, guys. How dare you try and hide it from us? I deserve to know if I am now handling stolen goods, okay? Because I don't need that stress in my life at all. If you guys could do me a favor and not tell them that I did this, that'd be great. I'm probably gonna leave a sign in fairness, but we got Jack's entire bedroom. I'm just gonna come and put it... You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set it up like outside my house. I'm gonna set absolutely everything up like at the back. You know what? I'm gonna set Jack's room up right here. Why not? Doesn't have to be in any particular order. Let's just make Jack's room. Oh, there's a sideboard there. Looks about right. Yeah. One of his beds can just get slapped down there. Why not? I think you have one of these on a sideboard somewhere. There we go. Pop that down. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah. That probably went there too. Sure. Oh, I'll put a tea set there as well. Nice. Oh, look at this. This is really starting to take shape now. You know what? We can keep the fire down. Why not? This just seems like the only appropriate way to let them know what they're doing is not correct. And they should not be stealing from people. Especially when they don't know who they're stealing from to put it back. Because uh, someone's now got my punching bag and stuff as well, which I really want back. So I'm not really sure how to do that. But I'm going to have to get it back somehow. Bedside tables can go there. Sure, why not? Oh, look at that. I can get it to sit on top of the chair. He's floating. Got some tea. It looks like that's pretty much everything that I brought with me. Oh, and these six cobblestone walls. I can't forget those. Sure, let's place the uh, tea there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some tea on the other side as well. And then, of course, the cobblestone wall randomly stick out here so you can make it as a little cross. There we go. Close enough. Well, there we go. We've got a nice little sleeping room outside here now. That's nice. Now we need to uh, go to spawn. See if we can find a way to Ashvanelf's. Hopefully, Ashvanelf has a portal set up. Not sure if there is a portal or not. So we will find out. Oh, it turns out, by the way, I can give Cherry Debt her present whenever I want. So uh, I actually don't know where Cherry Debt lives. Don't have a clue. Do we have any more locations on here yet? One, two. No, we don't. Okay, right. Wait, hold on. I swear all these people didn't have one last time. Why do I have one? I didn't put my thing in there. What happens if I step on this? Why does this take me to Delfron's house? I'm confused, but I appear to be at Delfron's house. So I think someone has messed with this. Let's jump back on here. So where does Scott's go? Is this Sasha's house? Whose house is this? God, this is getting very confusing. I know Sasha lived in like an area like this, but I don't know if this is exactly where she lived. Cotton. 
Who has a dog called Cotton? Tulip died fighting a ghost. I don't know who Tulip is either. Tulip and Cotton. Oh my god, this is getting confusing. Okay, Mitty and Ash. Whoa, hold on. Whose house is this? This is a sick house. Some actually live here. Wait, okay, so it said Mitty and Ash, and this one actually has two boats. So this one could be right, but maybe not. I just want to return Ash's rocket. Why is this so difficult? Why am I trying to find a way up? I'm a bat. To Mitty. <gasps> okay, this is actually Mitty's house. So does that mean this one's actually Ash's house? Come on, Ash. This is the most stressful episode of my entire life. I don't know if this is Ash from Elf's house. So again, I'm going to have to just leave. Wait, didn't Ash have one over here? Wait, there are two that say Mitty and Ash. What about this one? Where's this one go? Okay, this literally takes you to Jack's house. So that's not right. Emily's house takes you to... Okay, this is Beckett. You know what? We're going to start naming these because we need to learn quickly who lives where because I am getting stressed out to sweet holy hell. Delphron and Dylan takes me to... What the heck? It's a village. Is this someone's house? What is this? Why don't people signpost the houses? No idea who lives here. Can't name this one. I need to find my way out. Where's the button? Oh, God. I've lost the button. Time to end the struggle, people. Farewell, cruel world. Oh, God damn it. Let's try again. Ah, sploop. Let's go back to the teleport hub and try and work out the rest of this. Sabra or Sabra, where does it... Wait, this is Lauren's house, right? What the hell happened here? What is going on? Why is Lauren's house quarantined? I'm fairly certain this is Lauren's house. All animals in this plot have been seized on behalf of the Fang Animal Protection Agency, FAPA. This is due to living policy conditions. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Lauren's house. We're marking them all up so we can learn where everyone lives. We're literally looking for Ash's house. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Ash or Cherry. Cherry would be great so that I can actually give her her Christmas gift. Marielle. That is Sabra's house. I've been here before. I know this house. I know it. There we go. Saber's house. All right. Nice. We can leave this one nice and quick. In and out. Nicola. But is it Nicola? That's the question. Where the hell am I? I'm in a small building. What is this? Oh my god. I feel like this is Nova's. Again, could be wrong. Nova's. Okay. Nova so bored. Okay. But again, not the house we need, I'm afraid. So off we go. Jack. Where does this actually take me? This is how we do it. Can you tell me who lives here? It's a giant tree house. There doesn't seem to be any sign of whose house this is. Not a clue. All right. Village. Does this go to the village? This one actually goes to a village. That's nice. Hey, hey, back off. Weaponsmiths. Holy moly. Leather worker. Oh, good God. There's so much stuff. So the village is actually accurate. So that's interesting. I wonder who messed all of these up. This is beautiful. Whose house is this? I need to know. Okay, there's something in here that I can't show you because it's a secret Santa. But it says from your secret Santa and it said the name of whose house it is. So uh, this is actually Phoenix's place. I've never been here before. It's huge. Again, I don't think I have anything that belongs to Phoenix, but I can mark it on the map. Okay, that's another good one to have marked. Now, where did the... Oh boy. Where was the button? Somebody send help. There it is. That was quite hidden in fairness. So I'm guessing Cherry doesn't actually go to Cherry, right? Or does it? Who lives here? A lot of blood bottles. Interesting. Interesting. It seems like it's someone who maybe was a vampire or was thinking about becoming a vampire, but actually backed out. It looks like something that Brit would build, but I don't want to guarantee that it's Brit. So I'm going to not name it anything. Again, it could literally be Cherry Dett's house. I don't know what Cherry Dett's house looks like. Okay, if you come through the one to go to Becky's, it takes you to Scott's house, which is perfect because... I needed to be here, didn't I? I've got to steal a room from him. All right, so let's have a look. What room shall we steal? Scott doesn't have any particularly small rooms, I don't think. That's going to be the biggest problem here. I don't want to take too much stuff because, I mean, man, I don't have the inventory space. But at the Whoa, what the hell did he do up here? This is disgusting. Ew, that really is gross. Do you have anything worth taking up here? Oh, you know what? Let's just take his bedroom. It appears that taking bedrooms is now my thing. I'm taking your reindeer. I'm taking... I thought this went somewhere there. I got really excited. I thought it was like a huge secret. Okay, actually, his bedroom's not that many items. I think in the grand scheme of things, guys, it's going to be much easier for the people who have had things stolen to come and claim them back from me rather than me trying to find out who they are. What do you think? I think that's probably about right. Now we've got a whole room from Scott and a whole room from Jack. As I said earlier, guys, I'm not a thief. Don't panic. So we are now going back home where we're going to place down yet another room just on the outside of our house. I will make them separate so that they don't get confused because I really don't want to cause any serious problems. I think we should build most of Scott's stuff like over here. So let's get some bedside tables and stuff first. Let's pop a nice wardrobe down and then, uh, oh, a little bedside table sneaks in there with the dresser oh yeah that looks good look at that that is nice can't put the rocket on there because the rocket's not mine to put bed of course the bed how could i forget and then the santa plushie can start getting placed down on things like this there we go i need the other bit of the bed please 
And then we got other bit of the bed there. Pop a lamp on this side, bedside table here. Candy canes down as well. Oh, and a little bit of the dresser, but we don't really have the right place for it. So I'll pop it there. Why not? Actually, you know what? Let's put this in the right place. This could look nice if we do it right. Pop it there. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to get this dirt block or this sandy dirt block. Pop it here so we can actually have this uh, nicely lined up. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Completely misplaced. How embarrassing. We'll put the reindeer plushie down. Right, there we go. Didn't miss it that time. And we got the, uh, is that it? Oh, no, the lamp. Of course, the lamp. How could I forget the lamp? There we go. I think that's everything from the room. Oh, no, the mini chest. How could I forget the mini chest? There we go. Now, let's pop this down on... The, can we place it on this dresser? Nope. Don't know like we can place it anywhere, so let's slap it on the floor. And for now, what I'll do is I'll pop this uh, anchor and stuff back on my wall just to keep it safe for the time being. We can actually stick the tail rocket on the wall. Nice little touch there. I think that'll about do it. I feel this is a nice little bit of a revenge on them. As you can see, we've got Scott's room over here. And we got Jack's room down there. It'd be perfect if you guys didn't tell them it was me. Maybe see how long it takes them to notice. But uh, I think this is reasonable. I don't think we've done anything out of line. They shouldn't have stole things from everyone. And they shouldn't have replaced other things with people. Everyone's confused about who's got what. And I'm not happy. I'm shooketh. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.